starting from culture, traditions, uh, till the food, national clothes style, uh, cer wedding ceremonies, music, and it's all colorful, bright, and very interesting. Samarkand was known to Greeks as Marakanda. So when Alexander the Great came here in 329 BC, he said, everything I have heard about Marakanda is true, except it is even more beautiful than I ever imagined. Central Asia was a part of um, historical Silk Road and played an important role in Silk Road trade for centuries. So if you want to visit Silk Road, the best choice is Uzbekistan. We have the cities, which is a more than 2,750 years old. Towns of the Uzbekistan, like Bukhara, Kiva, 2000, more than 2,500 years old. They are Iran diaspora or Tajik diaspora, Turkmen, Uzbek, uh, Russian, um, Jewish, and uh, they, they live all together. And you can, for example, visit uh, mosques, uh, uh, or a synagogue. It's a melting pot of people and ideas, of colours and materials. You only have to look at the people to see influences from around the world, not only genetically but culturally. And the same is true on the buildings. Here we've got um, tiles made of lapis lazuli, of turquoise. Some of the designs are from Iranian craftsmen. Some of them are made here in Samarkand. Others are from Azerbaijan. The whole world came to Uzbekistan in the Middle Ages and all of them left their mark. Uzbek people love meat and everything with meat. Our food is 100% uh, natural, eco, so that's why I think our food has a special taste. It totally differs from other countries. Обязательно там надо попробовать аладский самсу, бухарский плов. Если в Самарканде, то обязательно там надо попробовать их своеобразный люля кебаб и обязательно пешки и сладости. You can still visit markets filled with exotic goods, camels traversing the desert, and also experience Soviet cities and um, hospitable people and historical heritage, make it a hidden gem of Central Asia.